Hello! Okay, this is my three barrel curling iron and I'm going to show you how to use it. So I'm going to section my hair out. I do about three sections and I start with the bottom section first. Now you want to make sure you hold the iron at an angle, not horizontally. Holding it at an angle will give it more of a blended wavy look rather than just that crimped step look. And then I just take sections about that size. You don't want sections too big or it won't curl, but you don't need them too small either. And as I showed you, leave a little bit on the ends and you'll just wanna gauge the ends as you get there, just to make sure that curl is gonna leave it either straight or a little bit curled under and not flipped out. Now you can also go back and recurl pieces as you go. It's pretty easy to line the, the three barrel up with previous curl if you need to redo a section. Now I'm on to my second layer again, holding that at an angle. Just going all the way around. And this doesn't take me very long doesn't take me much longer than it does to flat iron my hair. And again, I'll just take a mirror and check the back to make sure I don't have any straight pieces that I missed. And always remember to hold that iron down and don't flip it up so you don't have that crease at the top by your root. Super, super simple. And again, like I said, you can go back and redo sections that aren't quite wavy enough or curled to your liking. Okay, and then I'm going to make, make one more section. So I guess I did four this time. You'll just want to make sure that top layer is pretty thin, that last section, because that's going to be your final kind of outer layer look. And again, you guys can see that I'm holding it on at an angle and not horizontally. Go all the way around. The nice thing about doing my hair this way is it looks great the next day as well. There may be a few pieces that I have to go through and touch up, but for the most part, it's pretty easy to wear this same hair the next day. Not have to redo it all. Now this is the top layer. So again, this is the layer you wanna make sure that you get the ends right and that you line everything up all right. And you don't get that crease at the top and again hold it at that angle and you'll be able to see at the end how that angle makes it blend a little bit more and look more wavy than crimped okay we're almost done here just a few more pieces Now, because this already already gives you quite a bit of volume, you don't need to do much back combing unless you want to add a little bit, little bit more volume at the top. Now, when I curl my hair with a curling iron, I start my back combing down farther on my head. But if I want to add volume to this, I will just back comb just the top section, just a little bit. Now, I back comb and then use a hairspray, and then I actually use my comb and kind of wave it dry i'll show you right here there we go see how i'm doing that it just kind of dries that hairspray quickly i learned that trick forever ago and these combs you guys are the best it's just a back combing comb you can get them at probably any supply store but they are awesome and then i just kind of comb it out smooth it out and then that's it now when i part it on the side like this, I sometimes will take a little bobby pin and pull a little piece off to the side, which I'll show you right now. Just kind of get my hair out of my face.
And that's it, you guys. Super easy, super simple, and you can see how much volume it gives. Now another thing too is it looks really cute pulled back into a ponytail, a low ponytail, which is another favorite way to wear it on that second day. Thanks guys!